We can describe Alfred Lee Loomis as an attorney, or as a Wall Street tycoon, who bought an island, so he could hunt there, or as the inventor of the Aberdeen chronograph, and the long-range navigation system Loran. We can mention he was instrumental in the development of radar, or that he led an adulterous life, or made his fortune on Wall Street. He held many patents and also funded the radiation laboratory at MIT, was involved in the Manhattan Project, he was a pioneer in microwave and in ultrasound technology, and a loving father who experimented on his son Henry while making important discoveries in the field of electroencephalography. Alfred Lee Loomis built his own laboratory in Tuxedo Park, near New York. His state-of-the-art, scientific laboratory was world-famous, attracting great scientists like Werner Heisenberg, Niels Bohr and Albert Einstein. At first he mainly focused on physics experiments, but when he read about Hans Berker's observations and the Berker rhythm he started to experiment on his own son, using equipment he designed himself. When he discovered sleep spindles, Albert Einstein was present, together with Princeton's Newton Harvey and Herbert Jasper, who described the scene vividly. They put him to sleep, and at first he showed the typical slow waves of sleep. Then the EEG changed to the rapid waves of arousal. He awoke suddenly, asking for a telephone. He called his laboratories in Princeton to tell his colleagues there that he had been reviewing his calculations of the day before, and discovered an error, which should be corrected. This done, he was able to go back to sleep again. We thus had a dramatic demonstration of the sensitivity of the EEG to mental activity. Loomis published his results in Science, in 1935. He was very much ahead in the field, and his description of alpha and non-alpha stages in sleep, and their relation to levels of consciousness, is still current and used in for example, the vigilance model. He was also one of the first to research conditioning, as applied to EEG activity, a very clear prelude, to what is now known as psychophysiology. In the second half of the 1930s, he collaborated with Helwell Davis, who was another frequent visitor to Tuxedo Park, but with war and unrest looming in 1939, Loomis donated his equipment to Davis's group at Harvard Medical School and turned his attention to the development of technologies that would end the war five years later. This intriguing pioneer of EEG in the US, Alfred Loomis, without him knowing or realizing, can be credited with two crucial discoveries and descriptions that would play a major role in the history of neurofeedback, namely applying conditioning principles to the EEG, and the description of sleep spindles, that we later will find, to be fundamental in understanding, the working mechanism of SMR neurofeedback.